Hello guys, I really need some help here because I'm trying, I'm started this fighting about rendering to audio mostly on instruments and I'm losing it with the technical support because they always give me some sort of answer that uh, I don't know, I, I guess, I guess uh, I want to have your opinion uh, on it and what you think. Because I really think that actually the rendering to audio for instrument has changed in the last updates. Otherwise, I don't see I, I could have finished my 50 track songs in the past five years. But maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Uh, maybe, uh, maybe you will find that everything I'm saying is normal. Uh, I'm getting used to it. Let's see. What's the issue? So I made a very simple track. I want to say one more thing. I call my girlfriend, I explain to her, she does not know the musician, she doesn't know music software. I just wanted to see whether with my English, with my explanation, she would understand the issue. And it seems she did. So I guess anybody else can. Um, so we, I only opened a uh, diva, which is an instrument and paint some actually make a very felt uh, composition for our uh, personas developers which goes like this okay and if we look at the CPU we set in steady position is 24 in plain position it goes up to 27 why because I'm using besides Diva three plugins which are very demanding I did it on purpose of course so basically, you know, I wouldn't go much farther with the song using these plugins. I need to save power. And how do you guys do when you want to save power? You render to audio, right? So let's go to render to audio. Uh, uh, one more question. How do you normally render to audio? Let's see, we, because we got some options. Do you do like me? Do you preserve instrument track state? I guess so. I guess you do. Okay. Um, therefore, we're going to do it this way. Okay. Let's do it. Boom. Our CPU is still at 24. We see, we see, we have our waveform. Let's wait the way it plays. The same. And we got our MIDI. So it worked about the MIDI. It worked about the wave waveform. It didn't do anything on CPU which was our main goal. Why didn't do anything on the CPU? Because if we open the mixer, where before there was one track, now there are two. Basically, we are using the audio track, which is which is just being created by the transform to render audio, and we got the old track. And the old track has got the e diva, and the diva is on. And insert with our demanding plugin here is on. And this is why we have saved basically 3%. Because, of course, these plugins open are just taking space on our CPU, RAM, whatever, but they are not being used. Therefore, we're saving this 3%. So now saving, let's be serious, saving 3% out of 27, it doesn't seem to be a great achievement to me. 1%. So basically, <clears throat> what the program should be doing is this. You render to audio, then the program, without showing you, without letting you know, does this. Boom. Does this. Boom. And there's also this, bam, because when we have 30, 40 tracks, we cannot have them in the way if they are useless. Um, now, the CPU, magically, is to 3%. Now, when I make the, when I make the technical support notice, sorry, notice this, they say, but, uh, but this is because you preserve the real state track. Well, I don't think that is the purpose of preserving the real estate track. I mean, the purpose is to be able to go back, but at the same time is to save CPU power, which we are not saving unless we act manually, 
why would sh should we be acting manually? I mean, we got the macro function here to have, for instance, uh, I don't know, I don't, I don't use that much, but uh, for instance, to delay the track and create another one, which we can do with two moves. So why this shouldn't be automatic when it's the logic that tells it? This is what you want. For me, it's the way it worked, but I might be, I might be wrong. So why should you be doing these other things? And of course, what happens when we go back to transform to instrument track? It happens this, that we are back to instrument. We can hear the track, but we cannot see in the mixer because of course, we need to uh, visualize the track. We need to, uh, by the way, there was no sound, of course. We need to enable the diva and we have to enable the insert. Do you guys think this is normal? Really? Okay, so they say, the problem is that you want to preserve the state. Okay then, let's try not to preserve the state. Let's see what happens, huh? Maybe, maybe we are sure that this is a masterpiece, you know, and we don't need to change any note. We are totally sure. So why preserve the state? Okay, so transform to audio. Let's unflag preserve instrument track states and process it. We are still on 24. We are still got this useless track. We still have to bypass the insert, bypass the diva, hit the track, hit, hide the track. And now we have 3% with no MIDI anymore. You guys tell me. I don't know. I don't know what what is this for, honestly. Because actually, if you wanna have, if you don't wanna have the video, then uh, sorry, the video, the MIDI, then the right function to use is actually. Let's go back, of course, to our original state, which is this one. No, not yet. Uh, yes, it is actually this one. But we have to, yeah, open here. The really uh, function that makes sense is render insert remove instrument. Then, if we remove instrument, okay, we got it. That's logical. We got our waveform, we got our audio track, we don't have any more the instrument. There's no instrument track, there are no plugins anymore. There, are, there is no visualization of the track and our CPU is back to 3%. Now we are saving uh, 27 to 3%. Well, I don't know, 90%. Okay. So this is, this is that I, I, I guess in my humble opinion that, uh, this is, you know, we don't really, most, t most of the time when we are starting producing, we're probably not using this, this, uh, this remove, you know, we want to use, we want to use it this way. But this is the way you want to use it. But the logical thing, of course, is that there are, uh, uh, a series of events that happens when you do it. So, it bounces it. It is already doing more than one process, more than one process, right? It's creating another track. Is bouncing to MIDI. So, okay, creates the other track, bounce to MIDI. Just add this simple bypass. Just simple the simple bypass, and you're done. Three percent. Is this so difficult to think about it? Really? And when you do transform to instrument, to instrument track, you do the procedure and then you do automatically this and this. Is this so difficult to make? It doesn't make sense. It's not what we're looking for. So how is possible that the technical support is going to give me the most incredible explanation? Like not because the insert, because the, the rendering, because just say this is a problem. This is a mistake. 
Come on, guys. Come on, guys. This is an incredible mistake. Unless you that are watching this video say that I'm completely wrong and this is the way it's supposed to work. Please, let me know. Ciao.